Well, hello! Today I'd like to welcome you to my review of the Caveco 37G. Uh, this is Caveco at its finest. And let's dive into it. Lost my voice there for a minute. I'm uh, still dealing with a little bit of that lingering effects of laryngitis, but anyway, if videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens both new and old and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. And do you have any Caveco interests? Perhaps vintage or modern? One or the other? Let us know down in the comments. So the Caveco 37G is a uh, Oh, those slim black European pens that I like. Pretty unassuming. Nothing on that finial, even a little injection mark. I can't tell if you can see that. I still can't tell if you can see that, but it's there. And on the other finial, Caveco logo, a little small. Unscrew it. It's not one of the V pens. Nib is fully exposed. Uh, it's an extra fine nib, but as you're going to see, it, it it's got some potential. And it has a ink window. So let's see how it writes. So I'm using a uh, a yellow ink this time. I I don't know. I I had a viewer comment that they wanted to see some yellow ink, and uh, I've just been craving that yellow because it's winter now. So here we go. This is Roar and Klingner. Helianthus. The nib itself has a bit of flex as you can see. That's pretty impressive. You know, I, I struggled to term wet noodle. But, wow! <laughs> what, what can I say? Uh, wetness and flow. Flex, drawn, flex, it's definitely got it. Smear, test. Scroll up a little. Uh, no pressure, as best as I can replicate it. Wet-ish. Very wet. And reverse rating. Okay, it didn't start writing right away. But once it did, I didn't notice much difference in, in how it felt. So I guess that's good. Now, let's turn our attention to a longer form quote. So, I always pick a longer quote whenever I do one of these pens. It's just really amazing. And uh, it's a review, so I've written with this pen before. I knew it was really amazing, so of course I picked a longer quote. 
One other test I like to do is the world famous Peer Gustafson test. All right, let's be honest. That was not amazing. <laughs> Uh, this test does fail. I think it's going to fail even now. Yeah, it did. Oh, I thought... Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, make of that what you will. I think this pen writes really well. What the Pierre Gustafson test does is it tests a pen at its extremes. And... Alright! This pen does not perform well at its extremes. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this pen. No, it didn't do well on the Pierre Gustafson test, but whatever. Uh, that, that's an extreme test, so maybe this pen isn't good for rapid art. But you saw me write about a full paragraph. Yeah, pretty impressive. Now, one other test I like to do is a pocket test. Today was a uh, ugly Christmas sweater day at work so this was my ugly Christmas sweater because I don't have an ugly Christmas sweater but I wanted to you know at least pretend like it was taking part so I w put this on and all of a sudden I wish I would have put on a different shirt so we'll just clip it over the t-shirt I have on underneath the sweater whoops I think I just totally missed there okay there we go so, a little bit of struggle, but it does go on. A little bit of aiming issues, but well, it'll go on. So, it does pass the pocket test, just not amazingly. Uh, what do I think? <laughs> I'm grinning and giggling a little. Yeah, I'm really happy with this pen. I am really happy with this pen. Um, where has this pen been all my life? Uh, Okay, seriously, I, I've written with it in my uh, pens and use a number of times. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I uh, remembering now why I've struggled to review it, because I don't know a lot about it. It's one of those amazing Caveco pens from the 1960s, and then I go, but I need more, and it's not there. But, Wow. What a writing experience. So, I hope that was useful. And if videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens both new and old and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. And hey, I think this pen is a good example. Are there unsung heroes from big manufacturers that nobody talks about? What's a pen from a big manufacturer, Caveco or otherwise, that you really love that nobody ever talks about let us know down in the comments vintage or modern because i know the vintage thing is a you know it's a bit of a barrier and hey one other thing to let me know down in the comments behind me here i'm using a set of twinkle lights these are uh, very analog technology nothing digital about them all has to do with uh little fuses getting overheated and shorting I'll uh, provide a link in the video description to uh, another video that describes the physics and engineering behind how these work. So, well, thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.